Hi darlings, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the previous video. Hopefully this video will prove to be useful to all of you. So, I recently thought about what um, tutorials or things I didn't share uh, with you guys yet about Joseph. And I came to the conclusion that I didn't really talk about Terra Shocks because it's just such like an essential thing uh, for Jojo to me. And I didn't really think that maybe other people don't really get as many terror shocks as me or don't really know how to purposefully like go for a terror shock instead of just considering it like a lucky thing that happens in some matches or like only happens rarely so in this video i decided to just go over when and how is the easiest i think for me to to give terror shocks and yeah let's just talk about it until the scene where I actually do give those terror shocks come um, in the towards the end of the match. So first of all, I would say there are three different types of terror shocks um, when talking about Joseph. The first type is obviously, or like the most obvious for us, I think, and it's the jump scares, which means basically when you just pop out of photo word or pop inside of photo word and surprise the survivor, catch them off guard, and you know. Uh, usually they are decoding, but they can be like, you know, doing anything, but yeah, usually they are decoding when you do this and you just get that terror shock in and it's like very satisfying. But yeah, that's the first one. You can't really do anything with that one. I think I already uh, talked a lot about that one when you have to like, you know, check the shaking ciphers in either real or photo word and then go to the opposite one so if she is still shaking cypher in a photo word then you go to that cypher in the real word if uh, the opposite then you do the opposite so then you go there and then either use your uh, first skill uh, when you can change words with one click or you can just go to the nearest camera which uh, isn't really as successful in most cases unless the camera is really close and then you just immediately uh, press the hit button so basically that's the first type there's nothing more to it you just like have to get lucky um, and hope the survivor's reaction time is not as short so they can avoid it the second type is um, when you manage to get a hit off of them while they are vaulting a pallet or jumping a window or basically these these are, I think, the rarest that you can give with Joseph. Maybe other hunters is probably different. But I think for us Jojo means this one, I think, is what I personally maybe have uh, the least amount. Um, maybe thanks to it's thanks to my ping. Or maybe it's just, I don't know, Jojo's hitbox. But I, I experienced it a lot of times that I, I hit a survivor vaulting over a pallet or a window. And the sword that I can see um, him holding it just goes straight to the survivor and they don't even get normal hit this might be some vaulting thing for the survivors this might be Jojo's hitbox or once again the ping that I said we still can't really have even though this uh, European server should help it but regardless let's go over to the third and last type which I wanted to talk more uh, in detail about today so that's basically um, giving a terror shock when they are saving someone on chair. You might think, and I think a lot of people say, that Joseph is not really a camp hunter. Like, there are very, very great camping hunters, like Galatea, for example. Um, as opposed to that, Jojo only has his uh, normal basic attack. But I, in this video, I would like to share some uh, tips uh, that may help you guys uh, to have more terror shocks uh, and stop more saves altogether because that really really can change games if you can stop a save especially if the rescuer went through the whole map for that save and nobody will be there in time to save so yeah let's just talk about um how to get uh terror shocks more often um and how to stop saves which is basically the same thing in my case if you've been watching my videos for a while, or if you just like, you know, had like a period that you've watched um, more than, I don't know, two videos, I'm sure you already saw um, how I have like quite a few, few um, terror shocks on chairs. And I heard today, just today, uh, one of my friends mentioned that she doesn't really get any um, this of this type of terror shocks. And I was surprised to hear that because it's such an essential thing to my playstyle, I feel like. And this this little tip, I basically um, learned this from uh, my previous mentor, like two years ago. 
and I don't think it's even that hard like basically it's a patience game really like you have to wait and be patient and uh, that that really helps also like you can just expect when the survivor does this it I think I found it it really also helps if you play a rescuer character as a survivor, like me as a mercenary, I, I do main uh, mercenary and I usually am the rescuer and the only rescuer in the team, like the main rescuer who goes first. And it really helps a lot with Joseph because I know when I myself move to the chair, I know when, how much I wait before just going for the save or when do I go in to save or when do I just, you know, like pretend to save. So that also helps a lot. But basically what I would always recommend to try for you guys is um, if you have Jojo's second skill unlocked. Like a, lot of, a lot of people say that you should just use emotes to pretend you were hitting. But I think it's much better to, to use the second skill. And you just tap it and cancel it immediately. And a lot of times, like believe me guys, like at least 6 times out of 10, the survivor will think that you are going to hit and they go for the save. So basically what I do, and or you could see me do this a lot of times in previous matches, is that I use my second skill, immediately cancel it, so I don't really let it go, and then I immediately hit the survivor. And that can give me a lot of terror shocks. So hope you guys find this tip useful. And let me know how it goes for you guys, because first time I heard this that I can actually with intent want to give a terror shock like i'm not just going for one hit and then let them save but i actually want to give a terror shock it can actually work out so for me back then it was a really really great improvement and i just hope it will be for you guys too now let me just show you exactly what i mean in a custom match so here we are with this beautiful tranquility skin and the first thing i wanted to show you a lot of people don't know is that look at that cipher nearest to me but behind the tree it was shaking and this was basically the first type of terror shock i want to show you you can either see the shaking cipher in a photo world or in real world this is a customer so of course it's not a uh, real players and the the ai knows how to leave the cipher immediately but yeah this is basically what the first um terror shock option is what i was talking about and this is the other I usually do, but it's like really close to the end of the photo And see, I even managed to, to um, terror shock the, the bot itself. So yeah, this is the first type I mean, when you use the jump scares to your advantage, you see which cipher they are at, and then you just go for the terror shock, either with going uh, with the first skill, skill option, then you... Um, just use that and that's how you go to real or photo word or you just wait for the word to end and that's how you do it. So the next thing I want to show you is the, what I do before um, saving, so what I do um, ahead of the chair. Now you maybe can understand better what I mean. So basically you hold the second skill and then let it go, just pull it down or just tap it with her, uh, I don't know how the setting is for you. Just the thing is not to go through with it but cancel it so there is no cooldown. Um, and a little animation and this is where I show like you shouldn't stand this close to the chair Jojo has a pretty nice hitbox so this distance is perfect because either side they, the survivor saves from your hit will register so yeah this is what you do you basically just um, tap the little button cancel it and then hit immediately that usually works because they expect you to hit the chair and that concludes this little video i hope you guys enjoyed this and i really really truly hope you can um actually have a part of this that you can use and and have your matches better whatever it's the little shaking cypher thing which i think is more well known or this little tip that you don't have to wait for the the animations to go through just use the little second skill button let it go or like uh, cancel it and then hit I hope it really does help you guys and I'm excited to hear about um, how it goes for you. So please let me know, keep me updated. And yeah, that was all. I really hope you enjoyed. Let's meet in the next video. Goodbye! Don't forget to subscribe!